1941. In Somerset, and in fact, if I may, uh, have to be confronted with the greatest cricketer Bermuda's ever produced from around, all around cricket, Mr. Alma Champond. And I was giving the ball to Bill when he had already scored 104, and I took a dive from a one hand catch, run into with it, and uh, Bill with his, with his feet as it were. No, it was caught in Bill, uh, and when he scored the 104 runs. That was my first, first big as a coach. Best performance, I'd like to make that joint if I may. I have to say that great one I just referred to, as well as the first year I was captain, which was 1952, 51, I beg your pardon, when we beat Somerset by seven wickets. And I have to be the, uh, one might say, the best pro bowling performance, for which was in fact 22 overs, six maidens, nine wickets for 56. And further than that, we were in a dire uh, street, as it were, near the end of the match while I was batting. And I went in as number nine batsman, and at the stage had a struggle to get runs. And I bet for one hour and ten minutes and scored eight runs. This was why the other batsman was getting on a few runs to get us out of a deep, deep rut, so to speak. And, and further to that, I was classified as the man of the match. I also, by the way, took a dive and catch of Mr. Uh, Proctor, as it were, to start the second innings. My toughest opponent would be Mr. Woodgate Simmons, and I must add Mr. Lloyd Simmons to it as well. Eleven. Could I say again? Of those eleven, we only won three, which was in fact 1944, and I scored a winning run. Then the two first two years of my captaincy, which was classified as the golden anniversary of the game which was 51 years being that they played in the start of 1902, and then as much as they uh, played two matches in that month, or that year, right? So therefore the 50th game, Gold and the rest of the game, was, was in 1951, when I was first captain. And in the second was in 1952, being that the, that the cup match started on 1902, and uh, we beat something by nine wickets. It's, a difficult, it's difficult to really say, accept it. In my opinion, we, we, I, well, I, was, I had been in the Army, so I was taught self-discipline is most important. I'm not going to say these parents that they're not taught self-discipline, but there's so many of them who does not perform that way. And that, to me, is a, is a terrible setback to this game they call cricket. And a gentleman by the name of Mr. Walter Darren, he is also the senior party, a master spin bowler, a good left hand bet for St. George's. One of the four, four Darrell brothers who were Walter Darrell, Sheldon Darrell, Clifford Darrell, and Winfield Darrell. And of course, they are Neville Darrell. That's why I played, actually played cup match. But Walter Darrell, the senior, he sort of guided me you know, along the right direction during the first couple of years of my cricketing career. And from there on, he always from time to time had me to really get with it. What? The captain of St. George's one a time, and he, but even, uh, my mother, first of all, she died when I was six months old. And my father was just, as I was turning 16 years of age, and he was 43, and she was only 22. So I was sort of struggling along, by the way, but, but did quite well because of the support I got from my family folks. So there it is.